we have been learning about ballet. Ballet is a kind of dance that has a lot of emotion and sometimes it tells a story. We have been learning about the story of the firebird and we will learn more about that, don't worry. But we will also be learning fish in a tree. Now, fish in a tree is not a ballet yet. We are going to explore fish in a tree with music and dance. You can listen to these episodes before you read the chapters or after you read the chapters. There's definitely going to be spoilers, just so you know. When you act this out, when you do this with your body, you don't have to use your body. You can use action figures, dolls, puppets, stuffies, stuff around the house, or your own body. It's fine with me. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dance Allie, her character and who she is. Allie's in sixth grade. She has attended seven schools. So that's one for every year she's been in school. Her dad's in the military, so she moves around a lot. But the other kids are not very nice to her. They're unkind. They call her a freak. They call her dumb. They call her a loser. But you know the worst thing about this? She believes that about herself. So I was not wanting you to dance to that because that's not who she really is. Let's erase that. Allie is in sixth grade. She has been to seven schools, but let's make a world in our imagination where the other kids are kind to her, where she is accepted, brilliant, and feels like a queen. And the best thing, she believes this about herself. So now let's use our imagination. Let's build this world where we're gonna have our dance. A perfect world. Well, there's no such thing as perfect. A world of acceptance, a world of brilliance, a world where all of you are princes and princesses, kings and queens. And you believe that about yourself. We all have days like that. Just let's make it into a dance. Using the book's title, let's make it into the ocean. Okay, so we're going to be in the ocean, underwater. Your creature is a magical swimming, floating, soaring, um, creature, absolutely at home in the water. Use your facial expressions with the music. Even though the audience can't see, it really impacts how you move the character. Use your levels, high, medium, and low. And float, bend, and stretch when you need to. You don't have to show me the dance, but you can send me pictures of your dance. You can send me a video of the dance. It could be, again, you doing the dance or an action figure, or you can use objects around the house, whatever you have, and explore this music. Enjoy because my alley dancer is going to be a lemon, and I let you see um, a couple minutes of me doing alley dancing to the music.
Your assignment is to do the alley dance. Use the alley dance music to do that. Remember, your facial expressions and your levels. And then you're going to listen to the chapter one music and write a thought or choose colors or draw a picture of what you think Allie's going through. And you can share those things with me in a comment in your assignment. Just press plus and add a Google Doc. Or you can send a picture to me through my email. Next time in chapter two, it's going to be much shorter lesson. And there will be two pieces of music for you to move your body to. I look forward to seeing you then.